Hey Marvel fans, this is Ryan Panagos, a.k.a. Agent M. We're here today at Marvel headquarters in New York with Andrew WK. Yes, thank you very much for having me, Ryan, or Agent M. Uh, it's great to be here. This is very close to my house. Uh, I walked here in five minutes. It's just amazing to me that Marvel is so close to me, not only at my heart, but also physically. We've been walking around Marvel today, and, and you saw all kinds of cool stuff, and you were remarking a little bit about when you were reading most, and um, when was that? Mm. When I was reading comic books most, that would have been in uh, junior high and high school. I had subscriptions to X-Men, to The Amazing Spider-Man, Spectacular Spider-Man, and then just pure Spider-Man. And you told me that that's coming back, yeah. just Spider-Man. Now, how do you just, you just call it Spider-Man? Yep. How do, do a lot of people get that confused with Amazing Spider-Man? Because I remember even when I first went to the comic book store, I said, I want to get a Spider-Man. It's just Spider-Man. And there were about, at that time even, at least three plus collections, plus him popping up uh, in other storylines with other characters. How do you guys decide when enough is enough? I mean, with, with, especially with something like Spider-Man, who is so popular. Yeah, well, I think one of the reasons why we're doing Spider-Man, or adjectiveless Spider-Man, is for the fans who aren't really sure what Spider-Man to pick up. This is classic, this is perfect Spider-Man for the every fan to just walk in. That's why I show. got it. Comic books were the ultimate thing to be made into a movie, especially mm -hmm. these superhero comic books where it is a movie. Yeah. You're reading a, a comic book, it, you hope it's like a movie. I mean, it, it, it's better than a movie. Do you have a favorite song that you, uh, you play live, whether it's from these albums or from your earlier stuff? Oh, well, there, I mean, it's hard to pick a favorite of, any, of anything for me. Uh, I, I, there are certain songs, though, live that do have this certain ability to charge me up to the next level. Yeah. Uh, there, we have a song called Ready to Die that just... It goes ding 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 but really, it's, uh, it's my lost third album. It's the third album I released originally only in Asia in 2006. And now we're finally putting it out worldwide, putting it out in the U.S. And it comes with a second album of rare and unreleased tracks. So it's 39 songs, which is a lot of music. I <laughs> like to give people that warning. I'm saying out of respect that some people, it might be too much. I mean, it seems like I couldn't listen to all that in one sitting. So be warned, it's just a lot of, 39 tracks, that's just a lot to process. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks thank for you. everything today. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Um, so check out Andrew WK's music. Yeah. Please. Go to his club, uh -huh. watch his TV show, yes. uh, follow him on Twitter. Um, yes. You could probably find him on the street and just talk to him and say hi, I have a really cool conversation. He's you an awesome could. guy. You could. You, you just seem like very, you know. Hello, this is Andrew WK, and this is Marvel, your universe. Marvel, your universe.